Hello, my name is Rabia Bufaisal and I'm a product manager at Dell Technologies. PowerStore has been known for its tight VMware integration from the start, but our recently announced 3.0 release takes that to a whole new level. Let's run through a few of the enhancements that we're introducing. We're enhancing end-to-end -end VMware visibility. In 3.0, we're letting users see the relationship between all kinds of VMware and PowerStore objects within PowerStore Manager. In previous releases, we started with VMs and VMware host awareness. Now we're showing associations between data stores and backend storage, including block volumes, storage containers, and NFS file systems. PowerStore now provides info about VMs stored on VMFS, NFS, or VVOL data stores. And it works for VMs hosted on both external and internal storage. By letting users see these associations from a single interface, we reduce overall effort, eliminating possibility for error, and provide performance and utilization insights on how PowerStore storage is consumed in a vSphere environment, increasing overall efficiency and lowering costs. On the flip side, we're allowing users to provision more PowerStore services directly from vSphere. You can use vSphere to apply PowerStore replication and snapshot policies at the VM level. This directly empowers application owners, giving them a quicker path to resolution. No matter which management interface users prefer, whether PowerStore, Manager, or vSphere, PowerStore OS 3.0 streamlines workflows to help users accomplish goals quickly and easily. New NFS data store support enables high-performance VMware file solutions. PowerStore now supports any VMware workload, including VMFS, NFS, and vVols. New native vVol async replication integrates with SRM for orchestrated failover at both the compute and storage levels. This is supported on all models, including PowerStore 500. We're also introducing new native Metro block replication for ESXi hosts and new file async replication so you can protect both VMware file and block workloads. In our 3.0 release, we're also announcing support for vVols over NVMe. Previously, VMware customers running vVols had to use standard fiber channel or iSCSI. Dell and VMware are working together as design partners on NVMe solutions. vVols over NVMe currently leverages PowerStore's NVMe over fiber channel capability, which VMware has supported since vSphere 7.0. We've also worked with VMware to co-engineer NVMe over TCP support in their recent 7.0 U3 release. And vVols over NVMe TCP will be introduced soon, since it shares much of the same foundation as vVols over NVMe FC. With this release, you can also expect up to 10 times faster xCopy operations. This is based on more efficient utilization of the VAI xCopy command. It applies to any copy operation in a VMware environment. For example, when copies of virtual machines are deployed from templates. Real-world use cases include desktop pool creation or the log off and refresh phase within VDI deployments, as well as any write-intensive operation. We're also adding 100 gig Ethernet support for NVMe TCP. 100 gig NVMe TCP can provide a huge advantage for non-VVOLs VMware workloads. VVOL support will be coming in a future release. This is really a significant set of enhancements for VMware integration on PowerStore. And of course, all this comes from the platform that brought you apps on the industry's only purpose-built array with a built-in VMware hypervisor, letting you run VMware apps directly on the appliance. This concludes the PowerStore Build Your VMware Breakthrough video. For more information on PowerStore, please check out dell.com slash PowerStore.